Magandag Umaga from Bohol. Today I'm going to be staying at a luxury five-star resort here in the Philippines in Bohol called the Alona Beach, Henan Alona Beach Resort, which you can see right here. And just I'll show you my check-in process uh, getting into this hotel. And what's interesting about this video is I'm also going to be staying over here which is the Henan Tawala Resort. So I've got two nights over here, Wednesday through Friday, and I've got two nights over here, Friday through Sunday. One is $140 a night right here, and it has access to a private beach. The other one is $60 a night. So we're gonna see which resort has the better deal, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the Henan Resort brand. All right guys, here I am at the Henan. Take a look around. So the entranceway is grand. I've decided that I want to try Henan Resort. I've seen them all over the place. Boracay, uh, Mobile, I believe there was one. And now here in Bohol, Hangalau City, I've decided it's time to do this. So, yeah, got my room checked out. Uh, you know what, let's get checked into the room, but you can see it's it's pretty sick. Got my two bags. That's all I need. Don't need much more than that. All right. So we're looking for... Okay, well that's none of them. Oh. Five, one, seven, fifty one. Okay. All right, here we are. 100. Let's get the first look of the room here. Alright. Ooh, guys. It smells so good in here. So, for this room, I am spending $140 a night. And for the weekend, the rate for this room is $270 a night. It is a Wednesday. And so, uh, it is much cheaper. I'm saying Wednesday to Friday. So right now I am at Henan Alona, or Alona, Henan Alona Beach, and this is right up against the beach. But then there's another one, like literally, like you just drive right past it on the way in, and that is called Henan Tawala, and that rate for Friday, Saturday, checkout Sunday was sixty dollars a night. <laughs> versus 270 if I wanted to stay here. So I just walk a little bit and I go over there. So this is the way I've done this sort of Henan Resort experience here. But if I wanted to wait until 3 p.m., I could have had a king bed, but instead I opted to get the queen and the single, or the, I think it's a, yeah, I think that's what it is. Queen and, yeah, single. And the king bed was not guaranteed anyway. So, it looks like we have a veranda, <laughs> which is pretty incredible. Now, it does not look out to the beach, so that kind of sucks. It does look out to the parking lot here, but I, I'm sure if I, hmm, I'm sure some of the other ones look out to the beach. Maybe that, maybe... Maybe I should have waited, but I could have, you're just rolling the dice. You never know, right? But I'm sure some of the other uh, rooms look out to the beach. I'm not complaining for 140 a night, really not complaining. And I think at this point, what I will do is I will take you around the resort and show you what is here. But yeah, definitely gonna be chilling here with, a San Miguel light later for sure so also let me just show you the bathroom I did not show you the bathroom but here it is okay very nice and yeah it's got literally everything you need here okay now here is the map of the Henan Resort so I don't know if this is even helpful but there's a convention center, a massive swimming pool. There's a breakfast right here, and then a breakfast right here. This breakfast is on the 
beach. Yeah, that breakfast is on the beach. So I'm gonna be definitely doing that tomorrow. I will take you with me for sure on that experience. And what else? You get a towel card. Okay, so I can exchange this for a beach towel. Uh, two keys, and I guess there's like more information here that they give you. Really nice place, been wanting to give these Henan resorts a, a test. I see them all over the Philippines. Boracay, like I said, Boracay Mobile, and now here. And so, yeah, very, very happy with this, especially this veranda. And let's give this uh, bed a shot here. Very comfortable. Yeah, this will get the job done for sure. All right, let's take a t tour of this uh, resort here and see the atrium and all right okay well only registered guests are beyond the resort really nice let's take a tour of the uh, facilities so I do not believe they have a gym here but I do know that they have a pool okay let's see here so you've got coral cafe spa fitness they do have a fitness center Christina's and the Seagulls. Uh -oh. All right. Let's take a look at this pool. I will opt for the beach, personally. Oh, nice. Okay, this is pretty dope, I have to say. Take a look here. Right in the middle, you can get drinks in the pool. Okay, that's pretty sick. This is, I believe, the first time I've ever stayed at a resort in my life. Hello. Hello. It'd be pretty cool to have a drink in the pool. Like that, for sure. So, okay, wait. Coral Cafe Grand Lobby, Sea Breeze. What I'm most excited about is Alona Beach. The thing is I need to find some sandals. So there's a place to eat called Christina's. Okay. Let's just go to the beach. Okay guys, wow. Here is a spa called Kai Spa. It's part of this resort. I wonder what is here. Okay, here's yet another pool. And it also has a bar. I don't think this is different. I think this is a different, or I don't think this is the same. I think it's a different pool. I gotta say, this is pretty dope. I, w I would also say for $140 a night, like this is the weekday rate. I would say if you can swing something like that, it's a pretty good price. Okay, so here's a beach pool. Same idea. It looks like I've seen three pools so far and each one has a an island bar in the middle of the pool. I wonder if I get my towels right there. Oh wow. Guys. I do need to get some food and water. But wow am I gonna go in there. I've got normal shoes on, so I'm not going to uh go into the sand just yet but look at the crystal clear blue water oh my goodness wow yeah 
very excited for this. Another, so I was just over here. There's a guy who told me I can get sandals around here somewhere. Um, so another feature of this place is the Sea Breeze Cafe, which has uh, free breakfast in the morning. Okay, so to recap, looks like we have three, at least three pools. Each has a bar within the pool. There is a spa right here. You have two restaurants that serve free breakfast in the morning. It's right up private access to beach over there. And in addition to that, you have a fitness center, foreign currency exchange, which I saw right over there. And there's probably something I'm missing, but there's quite a lot of amenities here. You really probably would not have to leave the resort. There's also a restaurant called Chris, Christina's or Kristen's. Pretty amazing. Now these I think are villas beachfront. Yeah, beachfront villas. Christina's, yeah, beachfront villas, and I presume it would be quite expensive. Definitely at least probably 300 a night. Yeah, in this video, I'm gonna show you both sides of this resort, or this uh, Hennen brand, the resort, and then the, the two different resorts. They're both resorts, but one's beachfront with, I think, private access, and then this, I don't, I, I guess you don't get access to the beach. We'll see, we'll find out. Here's the view from the outside, Henan Tawala, Henan, yeah, Henan Tawala, Henan Resort, Alona. Good morning, or Maganda Gumaga from Bolhol here, another day in this awesome place. I've got about an hour left for free breakfast, so I'm gonna take you over there now. So let's go get some free breakfast. So you can either get breakfast at the Coral Cafe, or you can get breakfast at the Sea Breeze Cafe, which is by the beach, so we're gonna go to the Sea Breeze Cafe because, yeah, now I'll be real with you, I had the Sea Breeze food, like lunch food, it was not good, it was really not good. But they said this the breakfast food is the same at either location, so hopefully for breakfast it's better. Hello, uh, breakfast? Do you sound like a number? Uh, 5,100. 5,100. Same? Yep, okay, great, thanks. Hello, good morning. All right, it's a buffet style, so let's take a look at what we have. Lots of carbs here. Very good, pancakes. Oh man. Got, oh, shumai, nice. Should be pretty good. First plate was not bad. This uh, coffee is trash. It's absolutely trash. Okay, honestly, breakfast is swinging a miss. Uh, I would say don't come here for the food. I would say don't go to the Sea Breeze Beach Club because it's overpriced if you buy food. The breakfast is free, but yesterday I had like pizza. It was the most disgusting pizza I've ever had in my life. It was, it was bad, like certifiably bad um, and overpriced. So yeah, I would say probably food is not the reason why you come here. There are lots of options around the resort. Well guys, what do you say we take a tour of this beach? Didn't have a chance to show you it before, but we're gonna take a walk up this beach. I'm gonna take a swim. Fortunately, we'll not take you in because I don't wanna ruin another GoPro, but yeah, I'll take a swim, and then after that I think I'm gonna get a massage. Alright, so let's get a towel here. Hello. Hello. 
Thank you, sir. Welcome. All right, so you get a card uh, when you check in, and you just you, you exchange that card for a towel, a beach towel, and uh, then when you're done with the beach towel, you get the card back. When you check out, you give them the card. If you don't give them the card back, they will hit you with a 700 or a seven, yeah, 700 peso fee. So. All right, so this is the beach and swim all around here. I'm interested to get in pretty soon, like as soon as possible, because uh, it's right, it's after low tide, a couple hours before high tide, so pretty calm swimming, shallow water. And uh, yeah, so this is interesting. You can rent um, paddle boats or paddle boards here rather and so you can see the people out there paddle boarding um, but there's actually a uh, uh, what do you call it a distinction of how far you can go you can't go past the rope there but yeah this kind of swings around here you can't go much farther than this and there's kind of a cliff edge um, to it and then down here, I believe, uh, you can just walk all the way pa down here to the public portion of Alona Beach. But within these bounds is the private portion of Alona Beach for the resort. So I'm gonna put my feet in and then I'm not gonna take you in again, sadly. Um, and I'll tell you how the water is. Oh, guys, the water is literally perfect. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little school of fish here. Oh, the water is literally perfect. Yeah, much better than when I came out yesterday during high tide. Oh, yeah. All right, actually, I'm just gonna go enjoy this, guys. And then I'll see you in the next part of this video. Well, just sitting here after swimming for a while, you can see ordered myself a mango shake and a mineral water so just waiting for that uh, really learn how to read a tide chart which is not hard you just literally google tide chart and you can see when the tide is coming in and when it's going out the different tides low tide high tide because I'll tell you it makes a big difference like yesterday I was out I must have been high tide because I could barely go out where the blue, the deep blue is. I could barely go out to where that deep blue is. But today, it's a few hours before the next tide. So it's it's in between low tide and high tide. And I could go all the way to the marker without any issues. No snorkel, no life jacket. Um, I saw a really cool bright red starfish. I saw a bunch of starfish, but there was a really cool bright red starfish out there that was just amazing. A couple yellow ones, a couple fish as well out there that were glowing so that was really cool but um they do say be careful of sea urchins here on the beach but i haven't seen any so yeah overall really nice nice experience now i do wear goggles uh because i am a contact lens wearer so my strategy for this is i literally put them on my eyes as tight as they can go and uh almost to the point where it hurts and it creates a good enough seal where water doesn't get in. I haven't had an issue with it so far. So that's kind of my solution with contacts. All right, guys, so mango smoothie. Mm. Oh, man. Uh, this has become one of my favorite things in the Philippines, these mango smoothies, these mango shakes, I guess is what they call them. Mmm. Oh my god, you cannot beat this. And then it's got actual mango here as well on the edge. So let's give this mango a shot. Mm -hmm. Mango. Oh my gosh, the actual mango is just even better. I'm just eating mango here. Oh. All right, I guess while I'm here, I'll also take a moment to talk about this. Many of you have asked as a solo traveler, how do you go in the ocean or go to the beach without having your wallet stolen? 
Well, I have this fake hip pack, this fake Patagonia hip pack that I bought in uh, Bangkok. And I, what I put in here is everything that I would need, such as my goggles, sunglasses, an amount of money that I'm comfortable losing, and that's important, an amount of money that I'm comfortable losing. And my phone right now is currently in my hotel. So everywhere that I've been, I've been close enough where I just go no phone, and I can just get myself back to the hotel without navigation. And so I don't have to worry about losing my phone. I um, have only a cash amount that I'm okay losing. And other than that, I just kind of cover it, everything with a towel. And so far I haven't had any issues. Uh, I do know that I am taking a risk by doing that, but that's kind of the way I've done it so far. And yeah, that has worked out for me. I should also note that this is the first time I've done uh, beach life while bringing my GoPro. So normally I even leave my GoPro in the hotel as well as my phone. But since this is a private beach, I felt a little bit safer. And uh, I just, yeah, that, that's just kind of, I don't know if that's, there's any merit to that or not, but I did it this time, so yeah. All right. And I think to complete this little snack after swimming, I also have an espresso. Hmm, not bad. All right, after a nice swim, mango shake, espresso, I think what we're gonna do now, in fact, I know what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna go get ourselves a massage right around here at the Kai Spa. So I'll try to take you in there, see how far I can get with that. So let's go do this. So here's the Kai Spa, and I love it. You are now entering the stress-free zone. All right, let's see what we can get in here. Nice vibe, Zen, which many people think my name is Zen when I tell them. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Can I see? Yes, would you like to book for a massage? Yes. Are they available now or do I have to? Now, oh no, at 2 p.m. sir. Ah, uh, 2 p.m. Yes, available. Okay. We have massage at a private room and the courtyard here in the spa. Okay. Courtyard is a common room with other guests, separate male and female. Gotcha. Our best seller is Kai Signature. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you have to schedule it for two and 4,000 pesos for a 90 minute massage in the Philippines is insane. It's insane. That's sitting at around $100. Nah, I'm sure it's a great massage, but prices here are elevated. All right, so just getting checked out here at the Henan Alona Beach Resort. And I'm going right over here to check in to the Henan Tuala Resort. So, let me take you on that check-in process and we'll check out the room over here. So, let's go. Overall, would I stay there again for $140 a night for a resort experience? I would say it's a pretty fair price considering you get access to a beach. The room was comfortable, it was clean, the bed was great. The service was excellent. Most service in the Philippines is really excellent. The food was awful. The Wi-Fi was awful. Um, checkout process was a little chaotic, for sure. Uh, but overall, if I wanted to do another beach resort stay, it would be hard to find it cheaper than $140, um, which include uh, one that would include a private beach. So that's kind of my thoughts on Alona the Henan Alona, but let's see how the Henan Tawala is here. All right, so here we go. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you. All right, so very similar vibe. Looks like there is a pool. And let's get to the check-in here. And it looks like you can do exchange rates here. Hello, checking in. Yes. Okay, can I have a 
All right, so just got checked in here, and you're not gonna believe what I found. Oh my gosh. You literally get access to the beach for $210 less per night. The only difference is between the two hotels I just stayed in is you don't get access to the pools at the Henan Alona Beach Resort. So, I'm a little shocked. You get your own pools here. Literally everything is the same. I get to go to the private beach. Um, and I'm spending $60 a night instead of, um, gosh, what is it? 270 is what the weekend rate was over there. Now let's see what the rooms are like. Maybe the rooms are like way worse over here. I doubt it. I mean, who knows? Let's find out. Maybe I don't get a veranda. I'm shocked. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Here is an aerial shot of the pools. They're nice, to be fair. I mean, seriously, you get even a... Well, we'll take a look around, but... <laughs> guys. Look at this. Got a nice shot of the uh, mountain range there. And... I don't know, I do not believe that my room will come with... A... Miranda, but let's check. So let's, let's see what the room is like here. Okay guys, so let's take a look at this room here. Uh, right off the bat, if we're comparing it to the other one, it's it doesn't smell as good <laughs> as the other one, but I wouldn't say it smells bad. It's just the other one had a really nice smell. Okay, bathroom is nice, it's basically the same. Uh, same cleaning, like, like cleansing, you know, toiletries, all of that sort of stuff. Um, room is about the same size. I once again opted to take the room now, which gave me a queen and a single. And you get a desk. And do I get a veranda? I do. <laughs> I really do. And it's bigger than the other one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. It does overlook the pool, which is uh, not as great as the other one, to be fair. But yeah. If you can't tell, guys, I'm a little miffed here. I'm shocked. I was expecting. Well, let's give the bed a, a try. About the same level of comfort. Maybe a little stiffer than the other one, but about the same. So I'm a little shocked, guys, because to reiterate, Wednesday through Friday, $140 a night at Alona Beach Resort. I showed you in this video multiple times that these properties are in the same place. You can see the two resorts from the balcony like they're you can just see them they're right next to each other first day at alona beach the more expensive one 140 a night this weekend it would have been 276 per night 270 per night this one i walk down the road and i'm spending 60 dollars a night here and i get access to the same things as the other one the only difference is I don't get to use the other pool, but I get access to the private beach. I mean, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's not a huge deal. I mean, if you have an issue with walking, but the walking is five minutes. It's literally not even five minutes to get to the beach from here. You can eat at the same restaurants, swim at the same beach. You can't get in the pool, but you can do everything. Uh, so, yeah, also breakfast is included here. I'll take you along for breakfast in the morning. But, um, yeah, pretty incredible thing that I've discovered here. So, let's take a look at the resort 
here at the Hen and Tawala. All right, so same idea here. You get another resort map. So there's reception. There's a restaurant just like at the other one. Nice pool in the middle, which you can see down here. Has a bar in the pool. And I do not believe you get like a uh, workout area, but you can see here, here's the beach. So here's the resort. You just walk down the beach and it's essentially the same distance. So. <laughs> All right, so I did just confirm that you do in fact get access to the private beach by staying here. Just took a swim. It was nice. There's some nice marine life over there as I stated in the earlier part of this video. But let's go ahead and take a tour of the facilities here and I'll show you around. So far, first couple hours here, I gotta say it's looking like a no-brainer to save $200 a night and stay at Tawala. My main concern was not having access to the private beach, but as I've stated multiple times, you get, you get that. I guess if you really want the beachside infinity pool, then I get, I understand everybody's got different preferences, but yeah. Uh, from my perspective, this is just as nice. So let's take a tour of these uh, facilities here. All right, so here is a map sort of of the place. So you have a cafe here. You have two places to eat at the other one. You have one cafe here. You have a swimming pool, which you can see right here. We'll go by there. The lobby, function room, not sure what that is. And there are an abundance of elevators here in the resort. So you do not get an exercise room. And if you want to get a massage, you can just book it here. They'll even come to your room, but it's from the Kai massage place, which I showed you in an early part of this video. And that is near the beach. So again, two minute walk over there. So this opens out to the pool, which is nice. There are like four sections and that's either a kid's pool or a hot tub, probably, probably not a hot tub. But you can see here, really nice kind of four section pool, staying somewhere up there. Your room will overlook the pool uh, in this resort. Um, and then over here is the towel station. So you do the same thing here as you did in the Alona Beach Resort. You just exchange your card for a towel, bring the towel back, and then you get the card, and then you give the card back at checkout. And you can see here there's a beachside bar right there, or sorry, poolside bar. And I also had like a smoothie by the beach. You can still use the Sea, sea Breeze smoothie like food place, even if you're at Tawala. So yeah, uh, pretty nice. I'll give you a roundup at the end of this video, but I am thoroughly impressed. So yeah, this is kind of, oh look, koi pond, there's some sort of fish pond here. So this is about what you get at this resort. Is it as grand as the Aluna Beach? No, it's not, but this is what you get. So yeah, it's not as big, not as grand, but it's effectively the same thing. So thank you, sir. So yeah, again, right there, you just walk down there, get to the beach. And I think what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take you around the actual town center a little bit here. I'm not doing any nightlife because <laughs> that's not really my vibe anyway, but I am getting up early tomorrow and doing a tour of Chocolate Hills, which is a geographical phenomenon here in the Philippines. And I'm pretty sure I'll be taking you along with me on that. All right, so sadly it's my last day here for this little four day beachside vacation and i wanted to kind of give you my thoughts i didn't show you breakfast at the tawala because it's literally the same exact food same exact everything it just wasn't worth filming so would i stay here again yes i think i would um i think the henan alona beach is a little bit better uh not much i would say if you're looking to save 200 dollars a night you will not be disappointed by the henan tawala the Hen and Tawala has much faster internet, so if that's a concern for you, like me, somebody who likes to do work on the road, actually the Hen and Tawala might be a little bit better of an option because you get access to all of the same amenities except the beachside infinity pool. 
So overall, I can recommend this to my audience for sure. Will I be back? Maybe. Um, I don't do this sort of thing as much, but can definitely recommend it to my audience. So thank you so much for being here, and I'll most certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.